people have a tendency to remember you for the last thing you did. Mm -hmm. And I did not want them to remember me as a has-been. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I don't forgive me for boasting, but I am the only driver that has retired while he was still the champion. Mm -hmm. But it was more of a, of a challenge to me to figure out how to beat everybody. Right. You know, it didn't make no difference if it was in the motor or the chassis, the tires, or where it was at, mm -hmm. I had to find something right. that I could get at the age on everybody. And that was a challenge. Gentlemen, start your engine. A little bit of a struggle for Jack Ingram to get the car up to speed. Yeah, he did get off to a very slow start. I don't know if he missed a gear or what happened, but he lost a lot of positions and held up Rusty, but now Rusty goes back on the inside of him. Sterling Marlin jumped out front. He got a good start. Got a good run off turn two to clear uh, Harry Gant. Harry's Sterling. doing a great job. He's actually running Sterling down a little bit oh, here. He is. I heard him talking about him on Sirius. Uh oh, uh -oh his hood's coming up. Yeah, the hood is coming up on him. Harry Gant will not lose a lap, and he'll go to the rear, so he's far from being done. Good. Be exciting to see him come back up through the pack. Back toward the front, Sterling Marlin has a very good race car. Terry Labonte second, now Rusty has made the pass and is moving into third spot. Now these first five are right together. See, Rusty's going to try to make a move on Terry Labonte. Terry gives him more room. Right down on the inside. That's his favorite spot to run. There comes L.D. Odger now getting racy. He tells he's hit 10 minutes in a car in a long time, but he's starting to feel it again a little bit. Yeah, 10 years, he said. This car's working good. Uh-oh, a little bit of uh -oh. slip right there. Oh, Too much. Hold on, L.D. Just as I said, it was working good. It, <laughs> we jinxed it. around. Yep. Sterling's so strong, i got to do something to get around him. Yeah, if Rusty can get up there battling with Sterling a little bit, that might open things up for Terry to come in there. L.D. Ottinger didn't get off to a real good start. He lost about five or six car lengths, but he's coming back pretty quickly. Here's Ottinger down on the inside, trying to take over fourth from Jimmy Spencer. Drives her right on in there and takes that spot. Now that is classic L.D. Ottinger right exactly. there, folks. Yep. Years old from Newport, Tennessee. I guess you never forget about how to ride a bicycle or drive a race car because LD Ottinger's getting it done. And he's got that thing hung out too. He's sideways off of these corners, doing a great job. Jumped in that throttle coming off of turn two. Well, I always remember that Harry Gant line at the top of the racetrack at Dover in some of these places. Six laps to go. White flag for Sterling Marlin, Columbia, Tennessee. He came here once and drove with the University of Tennessee orange and white checkerboard race car. He's a big Vol fan. And so he comes back in a Legends race and wins it at Bristol. Rusty was second. L.D. Ottens is going to come home third. Terry Labonte is going to win the battle for fourth over Jimmy Spencer. And Harry Gant right on their bumper in sixth place. As a child, I sat with a gentle flowing mountain stream, dreamed endless and almost always beautiful dreams. Looked up and watched the white puffy clouds drift by, visualized the face of God alone, he and I. As I look today at those billowy clouds, my ears hear the sound of water running over stones worn by the years. It sounds like the ripple of applause for something I have done, the achievements of the great and mighty battles I have won. I have chosen my life, a life of happy days, happiness, enjoyment, fulfillment, rewarding in so very many ways. I pray, Lord, let me hear the cheers, victory to remember all through the years.